Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about storyboarding on your mobile phone. It's one of the few things that you can actually do and use in your commercial life rather than just sketching and doodling on your phone because obviously if you're going to pay this much money for a phone, yeah, you want it to be worthwhile and everybody wants to sketch on the phone but yeah, you want it to be a, worth putting in that money. So yes, storyboarding is something you can do on your phone and it will actually earn you money. I love drawing on my phone. I say to everyone, you've got to at least put in two hours a day sketching and drawing and trying something new. But storyboarding is absolutely brilliant on your mobile phone. Why? Because this 16 by 9 screen ratio is perfect for storyboards. And also the screen size kind of makes you keep that detail to not a minimum, but it makes sure that people like me who love drawing detail don't go crazy overboard. Like the kind of level I've kind of got it at now, I could call that a day and say that's enough detail, move on to the next storyboard. I used to do 12 or sometimes 8 or sometimes 10 storyboards to a sheet. Obviously, drawing on my phone, I'm only doing one storyboard per sheet, uh, well, per screen. And yes, sometimes, you know, most of the time, just black and white. But I can, what I can do now is add another layer and add color. Or add more layers and add more detail and so on and so on. So I don't have to. I could just, you know, just do the black and white and just bang, another storyboard, bang, another storyboard, bang, another storyboard and keep going like that. And that works absolutely fine. Now, all of that is absolutely great, and you can see immediately why I think storyboarding on your phone is so brilliant. But it's not only that, it's the fact that I'm not stuck to my desk. My Cintiq itself, you know, my drawing tablets, they're absolutely invaluable for me. I have to do all of my commission work on a, a, a decent sized tablet, and I always say bigger is better. But when it comes to storyboarding, this size is absolutely perfect for me. I don't really want to go bigger, you know, not when I'm trying to just knock them out. I can go and sit in the living room, I can move around, I can sit at my desk if I choose to, I can go and sit outside in the shade. I can, I can just move around as I would when I'm using my mobile phone on a daily basis and I can just get the work done because when you're drawing, you know, 50 storyboards or 100 storyboards. You don't want to be confined to one particular space, getting leg ache, getting back ache. You want to be able to sit down. You want to be able to stand up, look after yourself ergonomically and make sure that you can get all that work done. And having that smaller screen actually stops you from being such a control freak with your own work. And that's very important when you're doing storyboards. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Does this make sense? Is this a practical use for a phone with a stylus? Well, you keep being creative, guys. Let me know what you think of my massive playlist of phone videos for artists. And I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day.